this is Orozco, and I'm back to talk to you this week about something really important that all the authority figures that we've learned about have to do every day. It's called jobs. That's right, friends. Jobs. Have you ever heard that word before? I bet you have. So let's talk really quick about authority figures. Let's review. What does that mean, Mrs. Orozco? I bet you already know, but it doesn't hurt to review. Authority figures are people who create rules to keep us safe, happy, and healthy. And these same people are people who make sure that we are following all the rules. We have been learning all about authority figures in the home. Can you remind me who is an authority figure in your home? That's right, we have mom or dad, parents. Oh, we also have older sisters, older brothers, maybe aunts, uncles, and grandparents. We also talked about authority figures in our school here at Wilson Elementary. Can you remind me which authority figures we have here at Wilson? Yeah, we have all the wonderful teachers and administrators at Wilson Elementary. We have some of your favorite teachers like your music teacher, Mr. Hansen, your art teacher, Ms. Quinones. You can't forget the PE teachers, Mrs. Moore and Ms. Barr. We also have, of course, Ms. Ward, Mrs. Reeves, Mrs. Cardoso, and me, Mrs. Orozco, your kinder teachers. We are here to help. We also learned about the community. In the community, we have some very special authority figures, such as firefighters and mailmen. Can't forget about our brave police officers. That's right. We also reviewed about our state, the state of Texas. The state of Texas has a leader and that authority figure's name is called the governor. The governor of our state is shown right here. His name is Governor Greg Abbott. We also reviewed our country, the nation, the United States of America. We are led by the president of the United States of America, shown here, given a very important speech and message to the people of the country. Friends, these people have one thing in common. They have a job. Do you notice the image on the screen where each person has a piece of the puzzle? And so if they work together, they can put that puzzle close to each other and complete the puzzle. So they can create the puzzle into one piece because they each have a piece to add. That means that each person has responsibilities. Yes, yes, they do. Every teacher has the responsibility to make sure that they have enough papers, pens, and that they have their lessons ready to go so that we know what we're going to teach you every day. The principal also has responsibilities, right? He needs to be able, Mr. Hilton, he needs to be able to count on us and he needs to be able to make sure that Hey, the school is open so that we can come in, right? That the school buses are on time and that lunch is ready and warmed up to go. He has to make sure that all the pieces of the school are put together. Now, these jobs are different for everyone because they are to help each other. So, Mr. Hilton has the lovely Mrs. Muse to help him complete his responsibilities. And Mrs. Orozco has the wonderful Mrs. Cardoso to be able to help with the dual language program. Just as Mrs. Reeves and Miss Ward work together and help each other to make sure that they have all the amazing elements. For example, this week for our science. Friends, we have to thank them so much because they have helped develop an amazing week for science. That was their job this week, to make sure that science was the best it could possibly be for you. And of course, the reason we do all this is because at the end of the day, friends, it is to keep us all safe, happy, and healthy. Those are gonna be big ideas throughout this, this entire school year. 
So friends, remember in a, in a job, you have to work with others. Yeah. You have to work in a group. You have to talk to other people, get ideas, maybe get some suggestions. Kind of like how when you work with the partner to read or when you work with the partner to get some positive feedback on your writing, just like that. In a job, you have to solve a problem. So the policeman has to solve the problem of making sure that everybody that lives in the neighborhood is safe. And if there are problems such as <gasps> somebody, oh no, destroyed one of the trees or maybe somebody, oh no, broke into a home or a window, the policeman has to be able to solve that problem quickly. That's called a problem. And so a job is there to find a solution. We also know that jobs are to help people. Help people find solutions because friends, we can't all be policemen. We can't all be teachers. So a teacher and a policeman work together to find solutions because I would not be able to be a police woman. I'm in class with you and I would rather not be anywhere else. So why do people have jobs? Why are jobs important? Hmm. Well, sometimes a job is called a career. And the reason we call them careers is because friends, when you grow up, you're going to be able to get a job. And we want you to know that a career is something you pick to do that you love doing. And that makes it your job. So for example, when I was a little girl, I had the best teachers in the whole wide world. And you know what? She helped me so much. She helped me learn how to read and write and all my numbers. And so I love children. I love kids. They're my best friends. So because I love kids and I love learning, I decided that my career would be teaching. I love it. It is in my heart to teach. And because I enjoy it so much, I decided that it was going to be my job. We also need jobs, friends, because we need income. Yeah. Remember that important word we learned last week starts with an F? Remember, it goes like this. Funds. Can you say that with me? Funds. Funds means money that comes in. And an income means the money that you get for doing a job. So when your mommy and daddy do their jobs, they get something called an income, which means that they get paid for their job. And that's really good benefit. But guess what? With your careers and your jobs, you get to do other cool stuff. You can do things like travel. Some jobs you have to travel all over the place, like a fireman. They have to ride around in their truck all day. Isn't that cool? And you even get to learn new things. For example, as a principal, Mr. Hilton talks to a lot of different families. So Mr. Hilton knows many different languages. If you ask him, he'll tell you. And finally, I want to remind you that all the people that we love have jobs. That's right. Every single person has a job because we are here to help each other, to support each other, to love each other and to make sure that we are all safe, happy, and healthy, especially for you, my friends, because we love you so much. Some of the people that you love, like your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, maybe even your brothers and sisters that are older, if you have any, some of them work in schools, some of them work in stores, or in big office buildings, like in downtown Dallas. And some of us have very important jobs in the home. That's right. We've got to make sure to keep our house in order. That's the most important one of all. And some even work in farms. Did you know we have blueberry farms, apple farms, and we have wildflower farms here in Texas? That's right, our blue, ba blue bonnets. So friends, what I'd like for you to do today is I would like for you to take any piece of paper and draw somebody that you love doing their job. So for example, if you love your dad and your dad works as a farmer, you would draw your dad with his farmer uniform and what he does on the farm. 
I can't wait to see all the drawings and make sure you label your drawings so we know who it is and what they're doing because I would love to learn more about the family and the friends and the people that you love. Thank you, friends. I'll see you tomorrow as we talk more about jobs. Bye.